Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Tinvas. In this video, I am going to explain how to read the elements or how to process the elements of an array using a pointer. When a pointer is pointing to an array, how can we process the information? See, suppose generally if you take one array, if it is a static memory allocation, generally we are accessing the elements using we are accessing elements using index index starts with 0 1 2 3 4 up to size minus 1 index is present and here it is that array variable stores that base address in the same way just consider we are taking one pointer variable now that pointer is pointing to this address pointing to this address and indexing is not there indexing how can we process the elements through address integer size is a 2 bytes and here it is a 2 bytes and next one is a 2048 2050 2052 2054 like this memory will be allocated in this way now how can we process the elements of that array how can we process the elements c so generally we are writing that arr of i arr of i suppose consider index is a 0 1 2 3 4 like arr of i means what here it is arr is pointing to this one arr of 0 means what is a location arr of 1 arr of 2 like this when the pointer is pointing there is no indexing concept there is no indexing concept so we are accessing with the help of addresses nothing but we use pointer modify concept pointer modify here pointer ptr plus i plus i suppose here i value starts with a 0 i is less than size for example 5 i plus plus i plus plus the pointer value is a 2046 always 2046 so like this it will go 2046 plus i value will change 0 1 2 like this 2046 plus 0 is a 2046 only but here it is a 2046 plus 1 means what 2048 it is increased by 2 bytes in the last video we have seen how the pointer modifies and here it is what pointer to 2050 pointer to 2046 means what the value which is inside the location it will give 10 next one is a 20 next one is a 30 like this so here whenever we are printing percentage d and here it is a pointer ptr plus i pointer ptr plus i this is how we are displaying the elements for example sir if i want to read the information here it is a scanf suppose we are using you can use another for loop to read the element generally i am writing scanf for scanf function we need to specify the address not the location here whenever we specify that address 2046 that the data will be collected and stored into that particular location so here it is a 2046 means just ptr plus i that's it that pointer is not required so ptr value is 2046 plus 0 is a 2046 it will scan that value into this location next i value will be increased then the value become 2048 and it will go and store and next one is a 2050 it will go and store this is how this is how we are processing the data if you want to read the elements or if you want to access the elements right this is the way hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you